unexpected episode begins, we find the Earth Olympic hockey team hard at practice, readying itself for its upcoming match for the championship of the universe against those fast skating checkers from outer space, the Crunch Canucks from the planet Hurt. Boys, I think you can beat those big bruisers from Hurt. Now I want you all to get a good night's sleep and be rested for the game tomorrow. Oh. Taking the coach at his word, oh. a hockey team raced back to their hotel and, in a matter of seconds, fell fast asleep. But as the players slept, an evil element crept into the scene. It was none other than the coach of the Crunch Canucks, <laughs> Harry none other, and he was up to no good. That ought to make certain us guys will win a big game. This is their star goalie, peerless Paul Puck. Without him, they won't stand a chance against us. Okay, you guys. Now, a joke is a joke, but where is peerless Paul? What have you done with him? Honest, Coach, we didn't do nothing with him. He's just gone. He sure was, for at that very point in time, peerless Paul Puck was really on ice. Action, Holden. Nobody will find him in a deserted warehouse. Now let's get on to the game. This is going to put us at a definite disadvantage. Where can we get somebody to substitute for our goalie? Yeah, he's got to be fat, so he'll take up a lot of room. Hmm, and dumb, yes, hmm. And just then, a little fat, dumb guy was entering the stadium. Hey, Roger, this is really keen. i never seen a hockey game before. Oh, you'll love it, Doodle. It's the fastest game on ice. What other games you on ice? Don't be disagreeable, Doodle. I'm your elder. I think we've found our answer, men. Hey, little fat kid, how much is two and two? Oh, me? A two and two. Let's see. The square root of the hypothesis is equal to the sum of the part of the... St I don't know. Good. A dumb, fat kid. The coach knew when he had a good thing going, and he quickly outfitted Doodle and shoved him onto the ice toward the goal. Oh. Just stand there and don't let anybody put that little black thing in that net. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your play-by-play -play announcer, Vincent Yafnamo, about to bring in a thrilling hockey match between the Earth All-Stars and the Crunch Canucks. And there's the face-off. Here comes the Canucks power play. The Canucks center gets set to shoot. Wow, we what a shot. And what a save by Goalie Doodle. From a timeout on the ice, the score is tied at zero for both teams each. Roger, I've got one thing to ask. How do I get out of this frozen outfit? These guys are gonna kill me. Nonsense, my boy. Get out there and show them the stuffings an American Eagle is made of. That I don't mind. I just don't want to get the stuffings all over the ice. All right, play has begun in the second period, and Doodle is sensational. They're really applying the pressure on Doodle, but he's up to the challenge so far. This kid is a natural hockey player. Look at those saves. Keep it up, Doodle. What'd you say, Roger? Ooh. Uh-oh, looks like Doodle has been shaken up down there. Are you all right, Doodle? No, I'm not. Look at that lump. Feels like an elephant's Adam's apple. And I'm dizzy, too. Let me out of here. You'll have to stay in, boy. You're the only goaltender we've got. There are just seconds left to play in this hockey game, and it's still a scoreless tie. Somebody will have to score, or nobody will win. Uh-oh. Here comes the Canucks' great scorer, Harry Highstick, and he's alone on Doodle. This could be the game. He shoots. Ooh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Doodle has scored a goal with his stomach. And the match is over. The Earth All-Stars are champions of the universe. You were beautiful, Doodle. Way to go, baby. Thanks, Roger. It's nothing any talented All-American couldn't have performed this adequately. Oh! And so, again, a near disaster has been averted, thanks to Doodle and his big, fat tummy.